What's going on guys? Paranoid back here bringing you another video. What I got for you guys today is I'm going to be going over uh, something that a lot of people have been asking me to do on Twitter and YouTube comments, which is make more Air Force related videos. If you guys are unaware, I have seven other Air Force related videos on this channel in a playlist. So if you go to the playlist tab on my channel, you can find all seven of those videos uh, ranging from different topics of recruiters to, you know, different things about BMT. But today's topic was asked specifically to be about why you should not stress about Air Force basic military training. And I couldn't really find a good video on YouTube of why you shouldn't stress. And that was one thing I always talked to myself about before, you know, why should I not stress? I watched tons of videos about basic training, you know, this looks like it could be difficult. And I was like, you know, dude, at the end of the day, it's two months of your life. So let's talk about why you should not be. These are my top five reasons as to why you shouldn't. Number one. It is only eight weeks. It's eight weeks of your life, and it goes by a lot faster than you would think. You know, um, the days go by slow, but the weeks go by really fast. And half the time, you don't even pay attention to what time of the day it is. And the next thing you know, Taps is playing, and you're going to sleep for the next day. Um, you don't really pay attention to that stuff. Like, sometimes you're like, oh, you know, it's when's lunch. That's how we always did it. You don't take your day by, like, oh, what's next. You count your meals. So, like... That's the best way to get through the day. Oh, when's breakfast? Okay, you know it's at like 6.30. Okay, well, breakfast is done. When's lunch? When lunch is done, you know, all right, day's almost over, dude. We'll be back in the dorm by 5.30, 6 o'clock, tops, you know? And you just count it by meals. And the next thing you know, the days are gone, and the weeks go by quick. Now, the one thing that most people, uh, they stress about is being away from family. And that's everyone, man. I mean, we had two people. We had actually, we had someone in our flight who missed their family so much, they faked mental breakdowns the guy faked a mental breakdown multiple times to get out of basic training so he could go home because he wasn't meant to be away from family and it was interesting to see um but you know it's some people can't handle it another thing that people find really hard which wasn't that hard is not having your phone on you 24 7 you know that was that was hard for like the first week because you don't realize how reliant you are on your phone to go on twitter instagram youtube facebook snapchat whatever it is you know texting people whenever that was kind of hard for a lot of people in our flight like even a topic came up of yo do you ever feel like your phone went off in your pocket you know it's definitely interesting but uh yeah it's only eight weeks of your life guys don't stress about that time is it goes by quick number two and this one, a lot of people forget when they're there, but I always brought it up to our flight whenever they get stressed about being there. You are getting paid while you were at basic training. And people forget that, oh, basic training sucks. Dude, you're getting paid to get yelled at. You're getting paid to eat three meals a day, which is not that bad because the food there is actually pretty good. You are getting paid to work out in the morning. You are getting paid to get an education. You are getting paid to have a place to sleep. You know, you're getting paid to wear that uniform. It's... People freak out, oh, dude, the pay is not that good. You know, I'm going to make another video about military pay as well, but you are getting paid. They're paying for your housing, your food, your water, you know, all this extra stuff. And then they're getting a paycheck on top of it while you're at basic training. You are literally making like $1,100 a month at basic training. What, what, what could you possibly be stressing about with that? You're getting money. It, it's, I mean, that's what you work for. You're getting paid. Um, but number three is going to be you get to meet and experience new people from all different places of the United States, even the world. I had three people in my flight from out, out of the United States. I had a guy from Greece, I had a guy from the UK, and I had a, a guy from Guam. And when I say you experience new people, you get people who are from different parts of the country, of the world, and they have different views on things. They have different upbringings, cultures, everything. So you always get to learn new things about people, why certain countries do this, why certain places do things like this, you know, it's really interesting to meet all these new people. And you make friends that you're friends with for years to come. I have friends who are already out of the military who did their full contract and they have friends from basic training they still talk to. I still talk to people from basic training all the time. I still have people I talk to from tech school all the time, you know, you're gonna make lifelong friends. And that's one thing why you shouldn't stress because these people are there and they're gonna help you the entire time you're at basic. You know, if you ever have problems, there's, I guarantee you there's someone in your flight that's going through the same thing you are and they're gonna be there to talk to you and help you work through it. Now, number four, it's not as bad as you think. You know, back in the 90s and stuff, 80s, 70s, when they could beat the hell out of you, they can't do that anymore. They can't touch you without permission. They literally have to say permission to touch and you have to say permission granted. 
or okay, like yes, yes sir. You know, you have to give them permission to touch you. Um, they can't cuss at you. I mean, some of them will slip up. And dude, words, if you're getting offended because someone told you to shut the fuck up and it's your MTI, should be a basic, you know? I kind of wish they were allowed to cuss. It would make it more intense because hearing what the crap, what the piss, you know, things like that, it's it's not as intimidating. It's not as, like, you don't get that full experience that you hear about in the past. You know, I wish someone, like, I never got lit up one time at basic. I wish that I could have gotten lit up by someone and they were just dropping bombs on me because it's it's part of the experience. It's what you hear about. It's, I honestly kind of wish they were allowed to. You know, some people honestly deserve it at basic training. Um, we had people on our flight who just were complete and utter morons on day-to-day -day topics. They couldn't make beds all the way up to graduation. We had some people on our flight who couldn't march all the way through graduation. Like they graduated and couldn't march, you know? It's crazy. And I would assume that all these people would just get blown up by an MTI, but they don't. And that's kind of one thing why you should not stress because you're not gonna get cussed at. You're not gonna get touched. You know, they're not gonna, yeah, they're gonna rip the dorm apart, but who cares, dude? You put it back together. You know, it's it's not that big of a deal. And there's not really anything you should stress about when it comes to your MTI screaming at you. Yeah, they're gonna scream at you, but that's what you signed up for. That's why they're paying you. And number five, let's get into this one. And this is the most important out of all of them. This one trumps all the others and it's the whole reason you went to basic training. You are becoming a United States Airman. That alone should not have you stressed. You're about to be part of the 1%. 1% of the United States population is in the military, the United States military, and you are becoming one of that 1%. You know, you have 99% of the country who won't ever think about joining. You have 99% of the population who's not able to join because of medical reasons or past uh, involvement with law enforcement, you know, getting in trouble. You have all these different things as to why they can't be in, and you're able to. You know, that should be a huge reason as to why you shouldn't stress. You're becoming something that 99% of the country won't or can't, you know, it's, it's just that on its own is a big enough accomplishment to make you, you know, like, dude, at the end of the day, this is worth it. This is what I want. You know, this was the best decision I've ever made. You know, I'm going to make a video in the future talking about why I enlisted, like a complete why I enlisted video. And it's going to talk about why I enlisted and why it's the best choice I've ever made. So those are my top five. Just to recap, it's only eight weeks. You're getting paid to be there. You get to meet and experience new people. It's not as bad as you think, and you're becoming a United States Airman. So if you uh, have any other uh, reasons as to why you should not be stressed, please leave them in the comments below. Let's have a discussion down there. Don't forget the like button. Uh, follow me on all my social medias in the description. Keep in touch with me there. But that's going to all for today's video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. I love you all, and stay paranoid.